hello good evening and now we will be exploring one of my creation i have a client like she requested me to create uh, a basic hotel reservation system this is just a reservation system with two hotels well first of all in the first place i stumbled like well this is my first time to create a hotel reservation system with two hotels so each hotels will have an admin and then we will be having a super admin and then we will be having a customer so that was four user rules so you need to have a good security for that so that the admin of the village the first of the hotel will not cannot access the other dashboard of the other hotel even um, the two hotels the two had admin of the hotels cannot access the super admin as well as the customers so there were a lot of securities that i created for this okay so don't mind the name because it's it's all about this the name is just all about their places so what what we are going to do is to check the function of the system so if you click book or sign in it's just the same it's the difference is just the authentication so first of all we have two pension houses um, margarita and Viles. so when you sign in when you sign in Viles username the password is just Viles. so this is what looks like the admin of the Viles pension house or hotel so if this is if this is what it looked like for the village so you better expect that in margarita the other one is just um similar than this so here in our home he the village admin dashboard already saw that there are some reservation that <coughs> still pending so if he cancel it well obviously um, the reservation will be cancelled if he click view so he can view the information like the bill room number uh, the type of the room the price the number of days and even the additional occupants so if for an instance like this project i don't like i don't what you call this one i don't put any online payment gateway because it's out of the scope and it's and it's quite li like um, too complicated for the online payment for them to defend well if I'm going to create it for me well that will be just an easy one okay <coughs> excuse me so I sign in I, I mean I sign out I want to log in as user so basically if, if the user is already logged in you can you have uh, your hotel navigation activity and log out so here in our activity you can watch your previous activity like in two marga two reservation we attempt in margarita has been cancelled you can still view here and the other one village which the one we saw a while ago is still in reserve so for that let's click margarita and then this is the don't mind the picture it's just the thing I upload yeah, just to make this one just to make this sample or video fast so okay we have the package of free Wi-Fi and meal that's that's the only package they have in their pension house so we cannot blame them so when we book <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, I'm sorry if it loads slow because my internet is quite so actually let yeah um once we book um the system will give you an email notification <coughs> here by city pension houses bill of payment to margarita pension house this is the information and this is the person that you are going to send the money the receptionist and then your total bill and then the contact number of the pension house so 
um, my client don't want to have a payment gateway, an online payment gateway. So what they decided is just once the client has been booked, he will he or she will receive an email notification, and in that notification gives him or her the information that he wants in order to book and then the information that he needs in order to pay for the 50, 50% I guess yeah 50% or 25% I think so 25% for the total amount for that person the receptionist in Margarita or in village so for that in activity you can we can see here that here in Margarita we have reserved <coughs> so let's log out and then sign in so when we log in into Margarita admin the user and password is just Margarita so once we already have already have what we call this one the payment like the person that receive that person that receives the email notification um, already paid 25% we can approve his we can approve his reservation then the status will change to a paid even in customer side and then if that person already been here in our hotel to check in so we just need to verify the information like this as ask them personally because basically we, they will go into the receptionist then once we verify everything then they want to check in so you can click check in so here status is check in then after a couple of hours or after a day they want to check out you can check them out then when you click home so you cannot see them anymore because it's already checked out but here in our report you can see them that it's already been checked out the information here here and then the rooms so basically this this is just a basic image of the category the room type is sad or maybe you can change it into standard um family economic etc and then the available rooms was the total number of rooms so if you want to create you can create a room type here and then room number for each room type here <coughs> so to test the security like if you want to access the village so here you cannot access maybe you can put some pictures here like a picture like stop you cannot access this one something like that i don't know or if you want to access this over admin you cannot access it gradually so this is just a basic uh, and not really a basic but a, an intermediate level of security in the middleware of each controller in the laravel so that's it this is just a basic booking with email notification no online payment gateway it's just a basic booking and then yeah the flow is quietly quietly complex because that hotel we have because we have two hotels or pension house then that's it thank you